going on Facing this? My name is Jasper and today we have a special kind of vlog style video for you guys. I'm gonna take you guys with me on my full day of eating. Whole 24, not, not 24 hours, okay, let's be honest here. It is now morning, we are eating breakfast. So I'm just gonna take you guys with me all day long to let you know what I eat to gain muscle because I'm training and my only goal is to gain some muscle. So um, yeah, that's why we're gonna eat a good amount of protein, some carbs and some fats because all your food is basically made out of that. It's a little bit of a late morning. We're gonna start off with a very light breakfast because then we're gonna run to the store and get some chicken because and then we're gonna make some rice and chicken for lunch. I'm gonna start off with just some simple sandwiches. I'm gonna have two slices of bread. Uh, with some Skippy peanut butter. This is some good fats, some nuts. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys the macros per 100 gram, which is a lot, obviously. Um, it is 51.6 grams of fat, 18.8 carbs, and 25.3 protein. So basically, let's say we get two uh, teaspoons on a slice of bread, and we have two, so 10 grams of fat, we have, first slice guys, 10 grams of fat, we have three grams of carbs, and we got five grams of protein per slice. So, but we got two slices, so uh, let's get into making these. We have our sandwiches done, and as I said, it's gonna be a light breakfast, so the only thing we're gonna add right now is just a glass of milk, and I know it is a little bit better to almond milk, but we unfortunately don't have almond milk at the moment, so we're just gonna go with regular milk. Just that, very, very light breakfast. Uh, also gonna take vitamin C and creatine, but uh, that's not very interesting to show you guys. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the grocery store because we're gonna get some chicken. So, we're on our way to the grocery store, let's get some chicken. The reason that I eat chicken and rice so much, or people in general eat chicken and rice so much, it's because chicken is a very lean meat and it's high in protein. So, uh, protein is basically the macro, the macronutrient you need to build muscle. So, if you want to gain muscle, you gotta have a sort of high protein diet because when you break down your muscles when gymming, when lifting weights, uh, you basically need to rebuild that muscle with protein. It's as simple as that. Chicken is obviously nice to eat, tastes good, it's easy to make, it's fast, and it's also very lean. So it's also, it's all, it's very low in carbs, it's very low in fat, just a good meat. Um, if you're a meat eater, obviously. And rice, obviously, is very high in carbs. Um, so that's really good. So the reason why we take it before, so the reason why I take uh, chicken and rice before my workout and after uh, is because before uh, we need to get a good amount of carbs in to, for energy. Um, if you don't have enough energy in the gym, you can't go as hard as you want to maybe. So um, if you have enough carbs in your system and enough, enough food, you can say, but especially carbs, carbs are going to energize you. Um, if you have enough of that in your system before you work out, your workout is going to be so much better. For the protein, it's good to have it after the workout. Um, now, I don't really believe in the anabolic window. A lot of people say, like, you need protein within 30 minutes of working out. Um, I don't believe in it. It's a myth. I don't think it is possible. or it's, I don't think it's necessary. So, uh, we don't go by those rules, but we do. But we do need uh, enough protein for the day, and so uh, it's very nice because you're hungry, obviously, after your workout, you wanna eat. And if you're gonna make rice and chicken, you can split it up into portions and eat the first half before and the second half after. So it's really, really easy, it's really fast. It takes you like 30 minutes, not even, probably. And uh, you got a good meal. If you don't wanna eat chicken all the time, which is completely understandable because it gets boring at some times, you can also replace it with fish. Uh, fish is also a very lean meat. Fish is also very good for you. It has some good fats in it. 
um, some omega 3s, um, fish oil, you, you heard it all the time that people take that uh, because it's healthy and obviously fish is very rich in that natural fish oils. So um, if you're tired of chicken, try fish. White fish is very, very good, very tasty, also very easy to make, easy to season. It tastes really, really good and it's also really nice with rice. Rice, on the other hand, you can also replace with pasta, just pasta. Um, some, some pasta take, a longer, uh, take longer to make though, but the, most of the pasta are like really easy to make as well, like rice. And we're taking this in two portions, one before and one after the workout. So I got myself a plate to eat for now, and I got some Tupperware to eat for later. That's easy, right? No need to measure it, it doesn't come that close, it's just with your eye, you're good. So, we're gonna eat this right now, we're gonna apply, one last thing, some sweet chili sauce um, to give it some taste, because I understand chicken and rice isn't the most exciting combination ever to eat every single day, maybe some twice. So, um, I'm gonna add some sauce. So, eat this, and we'll see you guys at the post-workout meal. Gentlemen, we have our pre-workout right now. We got G Fuel, we got our creatine, and we got a banana. So basically what I always take before I go to the gym is half a scoop of G Fuel lemon lime and half a scoop of G Fuel face berry. Mix it with some creatine and some water and it tastes very good. It gives me good focus, gives me good energy and obviously the banana for some extra energy as well. Um, so we're gonna mix that and head to the gym and I'll see you guys in the post-workout meal. The pre post workout meal. I'll tell you what that is in a little bit. So I'm walking back from the gym right now. And what's actually quite funny is that four of you subscribers already found out where I lived. Where I live and lived. I basically lived there, let's be honest. Okay, so now we are gonna eat our pre post workout meal. If that makes any sense. Um, we're getting. Oh, I in my pocket. I can't reach. It is a quest bar. So I always eat a quest bar when I walk back from the gym to my house. Which is exactly the right distance to eat one of these. Then we're back, wait like 15 minutes, and then eat our second portion of rice and chicken. So we have 20 grams of protein in this. I think it has less than one gram of sugar, 14 grams of fiber, it's gluten free, and I think nine fats. So uh, it's really good. So and we're gonna go home, eat rice and chicken, and we'll see you later at home. What you can also do if you want to, if you don't have quest bars or you don't want to buy quest bars, maybe you just don't like them, you can also just drink a protein shake. I did it for like two years, so I'm kind of over it, so I prefer uh, a quest bar. It's more like a cookie, more like a snack. And I did never really liked uh, protein shakes. I already drank them, but you know, sometimes you have to sacrifice if you don't like something. But um, I like quest bars a lot, so I can eat them all day long. So if you want to, you can always uh, just drink a protein shake. It's probably about the same nutritional value. Um, most of the protein shakes have 20 to 25 grams of protein per scoop. So you can do it with water, which I think is disgusting. But you could also do it with almond milk or just normal milk if you don't have half almond milk. So, uh, yeah. So I came home from the gym and my dad decided to eat dinner earlier than normal. So I'm waiting with my second portion, my post workout meal portion, um, for after dinner. So. That's how we're gonna split it up. It doesn't matter when you eat it, as long as you get it in that day. So, um, in like 15 minutes we're gonna have a dinner, and let's check what we have for dinner. So, we got nothing yet. Probably some pasta. And then we got chicken with some onion in there. Some mozzarella cheese. Some tomato tomatoes and some green pesto. So it's probably gonna be a pasta pesto, which is great. Good carbs in pasta, chicken, also some protein, and then some mozzarella cheese and tomatoes, some veggies, and just some uh, nice taste. So yeah, the plan is to eat this, to eat dinner, and then when we're done with dinner, probably some somewhere around eight o'clock, eight to nine, we're gonna eat the second portion of the chicken. It's a couple hours later, it is 9 p.m. right now, and I'm starting to get a little hungry after dinner, so. So we're gonna go downstairs right now and get our second portion of rice and chicken. I'll see y'all downstairs. Easy enough like this. 
apply some sauce. Obviously, the sauce is optional, but uh, yeah, we got another meal, some protein, some carbohydrates. We already got a fork, and now there's only one meal left. So, this is the last meal of the day, the last part of the video. I hope you're sad that it's almost ending. So, the last thing we're eating today is going to be this. So basically, let me tell you what this is. This is a low-fat Greek yogurt that's very, very high in protein. And I eat these every single night. It's 500 grams, it's a lot, but you gotta get used to it. Let me tell you guys the macros. So for 500 grams, we got, let me see, 0.5 fats for 500 grams, which is crazy. 27 and a half grams of carbs, which is good. That's, that's quite good. Then, protein, listen to this. It's 8.5 per 100. So it's times five is 42.5 grams of protein in this little box, which is awesome. Your body takes this in slowly. So your body takes this protein very, very slow. So when you go to bed, that's why I always take it before bed, your body, obviously you're gonna grow when you sleep because your body's gonna work everything. You did that day, your body's gonna process everything you did. So it's gonna process this protein as well while you're sleeping. So you make gains while you sleep. Eat this before you go to bed. Find some something similar to this. A low fat Greek yogurt with high, high protein. So face fitness, I hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanna show you guys how I gain my muscle, how I do it, what I, what I eat every single day, and give you some alternatives. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. We really wanna incorporate more vlog style videos, so like this kind of style videos on the channel. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Make sure to thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.